So a month or so ago, we got four Mantis nymphs and they were around L2, which means that they've been born and then they've had one molt. So they were really tiny when I first got them, four different species. And I thought what might be quite cool to do today is we'll have another look at them and just see what the size and difference is between their last molt and where they are now. They've probably molted once or twice since I got them. And you'll see there's quite a difference. And I'll get up a little side by side comparison as well, just so we can see what color morphs and how much they've changed in size wise and anything else that we might pick up on. And whilst we're at it, we'll give them a few flies as well, just to feed them. Come on, you need to come out. You'll appreciate it. So this little beauty is Theopropus elegans the banded flower mantis. And I'm really curious myself to see how different this little guy, hello, not camera shy, is he? I'm very curious to see just how different these look. So thankfully I don't have to worry about fruit flies for these anymore. They are mature enough to take down green bottle flies. It still feels like they're a bit big for them, but they tend to just throw away anything that they don't have room for in those stomachs of theirs. But let's get him a fly, see if he's hungry. All right, I've had to drop the macro lens just so we can uh, get a good shot of him here. Let's see if he will take down one of these flies. Good stuff. Well, our banded flower mantis is definitely enjoying that. So let's close him off and have a look at the next guy. Next up, Parasvandali Athene or the budwing mantis. Uh, this guy's usually a bit skittish, so let's just see if we can coax him out here. He does not seem very keen on moving, so I wonder if he's in a pre-molt. There he is. Um, yeah, usually he's really skittish, and he did not seem very keen on budging from that perch. So I think I might try and feed him. I'll get a shot after I've given him the fly if he takes it. Um, but if not, I'm going to assume that he's getting prepared to go through a molt. Oh, he's kind of woken up a bit now. Maybe he will take a fly. Only one way to find out. Would you like a fly? I guess that answers my question. I don't think there's a lot of change in this guy, but a side by side will tell me the answer to that. He looks the same, just a bit bigger. And then we have this handsome boy who I know has changed a lot. So this is my Pseudocreobotra Wahlbergi, another flower mantis. And as you can see, probably because I've just pulled him out of his enclosure, he's showing off his dance moves to try and disorient any potential predators who might be trying to munch on him. But don't worry, mate, that's not our intention today. If anything, it's the opposite, because we're going to give you some food. You are looking quite plump, but I'm sure you'll squeeze a fly in there somewhere. I see your handsome face. Don't be shy. With an ass that size, you'd never guess he was that hungry, would you? But he's still absolutely ravenous. I mean, that fly is almost as big as he is. So this is the final nymph, and it's a Rhombodera extensicoli. 
which is a giant shield mantis. He doesn't look very giant right now, but he's growing fast and he's just had a mole. Actually, there's two in here. So this guy's probably about L4 now. Um, little mole there. But yeah, he's, he's growing fast. I think he's the biggest out of all of them. So let's get him a fly. I'm sure he'll take that. He molted two days ago, I think. So he's probably pretty hungry. Well, he's caught it. Is he going to have a munch? There he goes. I mean, it's pretty impressive that these guys have gone from eating fruit flies uh, up to things this size. Just in the matter of a, what, a month, really? It's not been long. And this chap's definitely going to need a new enclosure soon. His current setup is kind of small for his size now. Should be three times the length of the mantis, so we will certainly have to arrange something for him in the future. Hopefully these comparisons have been interesting and you can kind of see the growth rate that some of these mantids exhibit. This fly is going mad, can you hear it? Not exactly a huge fan of flies, but they don't deserve such a slow death. Oh, just kill him already. But yeah, I'll try and do these regularly with these four mantids just so we can keep an eye on their growth rates. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, I usually post videos two times a week, so consider subscribing. But stay safe, take it easy, and I'll see you on the next one.